Uh, it might have come probably as no surprise to you, uh, this story, Isabel, because we all knew that there was a massive problem in an awful lot of the councils in this country, but Birmingham City Council, the largest council uh, in the country, some say the biggest um, council actually in, in Europe, um, just completely and utterly uh, badly organised, badly run, uh, now in so much debt that they've had to more or less uh, commit bankruptcy. Um, it's going to happen to a lot more councils, we're told as well. Yeah, I mean, it feels like the bit like the falling down schools thing, doesn't it? As yeah. soon as you start looking at this stuff. I mean, in a sense, um, stories about councils with financial problems, um, they're pretty widespread, but just generally not picked up by the national media. So, you know, if you work on a local paper, any kind of local media, this is stuff that you follow. It's not very sexy uh, story-wise for the nationals, unless there's a really big and egregious case like this one. Uh, particularly yeah. with a cherry on top of uh, the boss going off on a nice swanky <laughs> holiday to New York. Um, so, uh, you know, we were talking earlier on previous programmes on talk this morning. Um, part of this is about the huge burden of social care, uh, something the government has still not sorted out. Yeah. I know it keeps coming uh, in and out of the news over a period of years. And how many times have our viewers and listeners heard this government promise to sort out care for the elderly and yet nothing gets done. So that is one huge drain on resources. But the other, I'm sure, um, is just chronic inefficiency. Um, and it's something that I wrote about for The Telegraph a few days ago. You know, I see it in my area here um, in West Oxfordshire, incredibly affluent area, mm. but frankly, uh, the roads, I've seen better roads in parts of Africa. Um, yeah. It, it's just a shambles, really. And, you know, road repairs, this type of thing, um, these fat cat contracts are allowed to massively overrun without any apparent penalty. Uh, and the taxpayer has so little comeback uh, when they see their pretty expensive, by the way, council tax just yeah. being... Wondered. Well, people are paying ludicrous amounts of money for council tax. Now, m many people paying over 2000 a year um, just for the privilege of actually having somebody basically take your bins away, and that's about it. But they're now talking uh, if about... You're lucky, if you're lucky, by the way. I mean, I had an experience um, a couple of weeks ago on the on the Isle of Wight, where, by the way, second homers uh, like me are about to be clobbered with some kind of double council tax rate for the crime right. of having a holiday home there. Right. Um, and I mean, I How idiotic is that? How, how well it's very unconservative that's what i would say i mean you know second homers uh, may get a bad rap because they're not all there all the time but because they're not there all the time they're not using any of the council right. services exactly. um, so bins there aren't collected if you put one little bag on top of your bin mm. even if your neighbor didn't put their bin out at all so it's the same amount of rubbish they won't take it away yeah. Well, I discovered this week, and perhaps I was naive to think that it wasn't the case, that not only are people paying to have their garden waste taken away to most councils now, but more oh, yeah, or less, yeah. it's all doubled. It's gone up by, you know, what used to be 25 quid is now 50 quid. What used to be 40 is now 80. Um, and they're actually charging you extra money. So it won't be long, I'm sure, before they start charging you money to just take your ordinary bin away. Oh, absolutely. And then there'll be a new category. Maybe there's a new category for taking glass away or for those disgusting mm. food that everybody is encouraged to take. My um, my own garden waste licence arrived this morning, so um, I can't remember quite how much it costs. No doubt I'll be horrified when I see the sum of money that I paid out for it not to be taken uh, anywhere particularly efficiently. Yeah. 